a nice, bright, beautiful day here in Osaka in January, and I thought for this particular vlog, we would do a walkthrough of Kokan Nursery. So we'll start out front here, outside of the nursery. You can see we've got our sign here, our Kanban, which says bonsai at the top and Fujikawa Kokan at the bottom. So Fujikawa obviously is the Fujikawa family name, and Kokan is the name of the nursery. Kokan means light flower. All right, so we'll make our way into the nursery here. Now, at this particular time of year, it's probably not the best time to film because we just took a massive load of trees up to Tokyo for the Kokofu Ten. so the nursery looks a little empty, as you can see behind me here. But we still do have quite a few great trees on this side of the nursery. So everything on this side of the nursery is for sale to the general public. As you can see, it's a little empty today because a lot of the trees have been taken up to the Kokofu. So we'll make our way around here to what we call the gym show or the office. I'll take you guys inside here. This is the office where Fujikawa-san handles all of the business-related things, does his taxes, makes inventory lists and whatnot for the trees. We've got a nice refrigerator here that we keep tea in. Right, there's not any tea in it right now because it's winter and we don't drink the cold drinks in the winter. But we've got some other stuff in there too, like Fujikawa-san's energy drinks and whatnot, but we keep our uh, bento boxes in here too and eat those during lunchtime. All right, we'll make our way into the room right next door here. This is what's called the chashitsu or the tea room. So it's not an official tea room like you would see in a traditional sense, but we do have an area back here where we can display trees. For example, over here in the corner, we've got a tokonoma. So if we have a particular client who might be interested in a tree that we have here and we know that that client is coming, We'll put the tree on display here so that it really pops, looks good for that client. Or if it's a tree that they've already purchased from us that we know that they would like to see in person on display, we'll put it here as well. All right, we've got, of course, our nice couches down below here and on the opposite side here so that Fujikawa-san, uh, in the event that a customer comes, they can sit and discuss business or whatever. And this is also the room where we enjoy our lunch from about noon to one every day. All right, so we'll make our way back outside here. Now the bench in front of the chashitsu here is the bench that we keep our shohin trees on for the most part. We don't have a whole lot of shohin trees right now, but we do keep those here as well as some medium-sized trees. The thought behind that is on the first bench here, we wanna have the lower level trees, not in terms of quality, but in terms of size, so that the second and third benches are also visible from the tea room. So when a customer comes in, sits down in the tea room, they can enjoy not only the shohin and the medium sized trees on the first bench, but also the larger trees on the second and third benches as well. Right next to the chashitsu here, this is what we call the shigotaba, which is the workroom. So this is where Mayoko-san and I sit and work during the day. Right, so right now I'm working on this juniper here, turning it into a nice literati style tree. My Oka-san, his spot is in the back there. Today he has the day off, so I'm here by myself while Fujikawa-san's up in Tokyo. Now just outside of this room, around the corner here, we have what's called the Tenjijo, and officially that means the place where we display trees. We usually don't actually display anything in here. We do overwintering. So I mentioned it in a previous vlog that we keep our conifers in here that are gonna be going into the Kokofu or going to be going up to the Kokofu to be sold at the sales area there. So we keep them in here to maintain that nice dark green hue, which makes them better for the exhibition and easier to sell. Now, if we make our way to the very back of the Tenjijo here, this is where we keep all of our antique pots, both Chinese and Japanese. So some of these pots in here are worth tens of thousands of dollars, and they're not really for sale to the general public. What we do is maintain these here so that if we have a customer that wants to put a tree in the Kokofu, we have the option of switching out that tree from its training pot into one of these antique pots. Makes the trees look much better, and it's also really a requirement for the Kokofu to get the tree in the exhibition through the pre-judging process. If the tree's in a crappy pot, it's not gonna get in the show. So we keep these here to switch them out. Basically, we rent them to customers for the show. And of course here, we've got all of our nice stands that we use for exhibition as well. So we do rent those out to customers for the Kokofu and for the Taikon 10 in the event that they need one for their tree for the display. All right, so we're gonna go back outside here to the opposite end of the nursery. And this is where we maintain all of our client trees. 
So all of these trees over here are either already purchased by private clients here in Osaka or Tokyo or wherever they happen to be from. We maintain those trees here for them because of course you wouldn't want to spend five or six figures on a plant, take it home to your backyard and kill it. So we wire, water, trim, do all the basic maintenance for all of these plants here for private clients. There are a handful of trees in here though that are still owned by the nursery. They're part of the private collection at Kokaan. So I'll show you some of those trees as well as we walk through here. On the very back side of the nursery here, we do have a few more client trees, but we also have some project trees that we're in the process of developing long term. A lot of deciduous material back here. For example, this giant cherry tree here, you can see it's in a big kibako or wooden box. This tree's been at the nursery for probably 20, 25 years, but it's still in the developmental process. We're working on developing a nice branch structure on that plant, so it's got a few more years before it'll be ready to be sold to the general public. All right, so we're gonna make our way upstairs to the roof over the Tenjijo or the display room. And up here we keep trees that are being maintained for export to Europe. So all of these plants have official tags on them. The trees get checked two, three times a year, I believe, by professionals from the government to make sure that we're maintaining them in the proper format so that in a year, year and a half, this material can be exported to Europe. So everything out here, uh, most of it anyway, is coniferous material and it can be maintained outdoors without any netting over the top of it, still as export material. But a lot of the deciduous trees have to be put in this special quarantine house right here. And as you can see, there's a nice netting over the top. This keeps all of the bugs and potentially infectious diseases from entering. And then in about two years time, this material will also be up and ready for export to anywhere in the EU. This is my favorite spot in the nursery. You can come up to the top, look down below and see all of the trees that we have here at Kokan. So I think we're gonna end this video right here. Thanks for checking it out. We'll see you guys next time on the vlog.